take your Uber. Well, the room's not great, but it is better than walking. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good morning everybody and welcome. Today was meant to be the day where we'd start officially harvest, but I'd say it probably started. Everyone got the itch. Yeah. And I got a bad itch and yeah. I was harassing the boys. <laughs> so basically, casually got 800 tonne of wheat and now we're into it. We've got all the trucks lined up, ready to go, and we're, we're full steam ahead now. This would be the first harvest for, or well, since 2019, really. Mm where we uh, got big cracks in the ground at harvest time. Yeah, we've already lost some spanners <laughs> or some bolts. Yeah, yeah there was some, <laughs> well, the crack, I'll show you when we get down there, but the cracks are like that big in the ground. So if you drop a spanner or a nut or a bolt, it's gone. You never, never see it again. I've had to tape up my fetlocks, so I'm no good for racing now. Your what? My fetlocks, you know, race, horse racing. When they fetlocks? Yeah, that's their little, you know, their little, their heat, their, where their foot hits the ground, you know, and that, that, that ankle. That sort of ankle wave, yeah. Hopefully you guys know what he's talking about. I've got no idea. <laughs> I, used to have a, I used to have a horse at one point. <laughs> that would be a while ago. It was. Well, guys, we've made it down to where all the action is. So I just dropped that off to the mother bin here, and we're going to move it um, up close to the hill. We can just see Brad making a bit of dust there and then Phil started over the other side there. So I've got to go on the 280 here and I'll be chasing Phil and JD's on the, in the Coolerman there, um, yeah, chasing Brad. So, and we just had a, a triple road train leave. So yeah, it's all, all happening. So here's these cracks I was talking to you about. There's one there. So that's about, some of them are about two inches. So yeah, you just gotta, gotta be a little careful what you're doing. Yeah, it makes it right. I'll, um, I should be able to keep going, fill up. If you haven't seen me this run, what about you? You'll be still. Yeah, mate, gonna um, get on the 280 here. Righto, let's get into it. Well, it's going extremely well. It's, um, I think we got the, the title of the first wheat delivered to town, so yeah, very early.
give some rough figures. The headers are doing about, uh, it's really good going, nice and dry. So the headers are doing about 50 ton or so um, each an hour, which is yeah pretty good going really. It's not an excellent crop, but it's a very excellent crop for the year we've had. So um, it's anywhere around that four ton of a hectare, which is just, yeah, I'll, I'll say it many times, but just crazy that that result after virtually no in-crop rain is just just incredible so uber uber thankful for that right oh well we've finished up this little section here that phil was on and where brad was harvesting but then dad took over for a bit so we're going to move the mother bin here um, down to the big dam down the back um, we do have about 120 hectares there that probably won't be ready before we have to go to the canola but yeah there's probably another 100 and something hectares that we can get so it'll just make it a lot easier instead of the chaser bins coming all the way around here we'll be able to go straight there i'd say so it's the 16th of october today i don't know if i mentioned that before but um yeah it is just started to get quite windy here as a front coming through so um we've got sort of all our firefighting gear ready to go if need be i've got the my water cannon at the front i can use so if, if I need that, um, it's also got a reel, a hand reel at the front. We can flick a tap, turn that on and run out with a hand reel if we need to as well. So um, yeah, that's the plan. So we've also got, um, yeah, like I said before, there's a two triple road trains going to town. So they can take about 70, maybe a little bit over 70, something like that, about 70 ton um, a load. So yeah, that, um, just we're just keeping ahead of them so we do have to break out the little echo truck every now and then to put a load or two in the silo but um yeah it's a good problem to have so i've got dad over here he's on header number two and we can see phil over there he's come around the other side of the hill and harvested his way around so yeah we're just trying to discuss where to uh put the mother in so brad how do you rate your uber Oh, we're on the on the tube. Yeah, how, do you, how do you rate your Uber? Well, the room's not great, but it is better than walking. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm hanging on here. It's yes. a bit. Um, it's not quite as soft the ground as in the wet years. It's a bit fairly rough, but no, no boggings, hopefully. No, it's magnificent. Drop a, a nut for the one of the shear bolts yesterday down a hole, didn't you? A crack in the ground. Yeah, that happened. I better go and help the old man with the shear yeah. bolts. That's that's yeah. broken the other header. I think uh, I think it's on a shear bolt for the concave. So I don't know, maybe yeah, in a green right. patch or what? That's impressive. Yeah, yeah, it's not very many right green there. patches. I think I might be uh, dropping off one passenger and picking up another. What have you done? Well, it said I broke the shear bolt. But it's not broken. And because I'm not as young as they used to be. You sent JD. Well, yeah, it must be my fault. I've done something wrong here, but there's no reason for it to. But it must be a glitch in the computer because it's not broken. But I'm willing to accept the, the fault now. Yeah, I wonder why it's... Oh, I don't know, it did it last year apparently. I wonder why it was roaring. Yeah, when I got up there it was roaring and I hadn't turned it back to idle. <laughs> I've got to oh. turn the jet off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, are you hitching a ride with me I'll, back? I'll, or? I'll hitch a ride, I'm ready for a ride. I don't know if we've been this close for a while, Dad. Oh, well, it won't hurt us. I'm getting skinny, of course, and you're getting fatter. That's a bit rough. Yeah. I'm not actually getting fatter, I'm maintaining you. You're getting more husky. Well, hey, that's a good word. Husky. That's what they like these days. Hmm. It's a bread word. Yeah. <laughs> actually, he's got a few words for me. See those big cracks in there? Yeah, I, well, I showed them um, before, but on this bank, they're like, a lot bigger. Some of them are like three inches. You see, you've doubled your topsoil, so you've got probably two meters of wet, good 
like the soil that is able to wet up and extract moisture from. Two metres of cracky, Jay. Mm. Yeah, don't um, drop your phone down there. I think you go buy a new phone, eh? Yes, there's been a lot of tools and valuable things lost down that'll, those cracks. That'll confuse a lot of people in a few years from now. Yes. <laughs> Do some ripping and find a spanners and shifters. Yes, well, I've got to drop you off so I can get back to Phil. So no, we're not going to walk. Do you want to? Well, your no, I can walk. your buggy's. Um, I think I'll. Where is my buggy? I think it's down near where the mother bin was. So you could always tell Phil to just turn the key off for a bit. Sure. Nah, you can do some moisture tests. Well, we've done a little bit of a uh, chase bin swap, so I'm chasing Brad now. Now, Brad's got a little bit smaller front, and he doesn't have the side uh, or the big top on the on the grain bin, so the grain bin isn't as big, so it does make more sense to have a smaller chase bin uh, with that one, and it's also a slightly smaller um, header, but the, um, yeah, it is, well, I mean, we've only got probably another couple of hours before we run into the stuff that's too green, which might be another week or two away before he's ready. So, um, yeah, we're gonna probably just abandon and ship here soon and get ready to head down to the canola at the development block. So we're very keen to get the canola off because, yeah, it, if it dries out, when it dries out, and you get wind and all sorts and they're all, um, all the pods are rustling against each other, they shell out. So yeah, that, we don't want the seeds on the ground, we want it in the bins. So we're gonna race down there and, and try and get as much of that up as we can. Um, there's probably gonna be, I don't know, maybe five days, something like that, worth of um, harvesting down there. And um, yeah, there's about 600 hectares of canola. So yeah, it's a, a fairly big chunk. But once that's done, then we're gonna decide what we do there. Um, we've got the chickpeas ready at the uh, main lease block. There's, uh, what, 350 roughly hectares of chickpeas there, and they're, yeah, they're pretty much ready to go. So again, similar thing. You don't want to leave them hanging there too long or they'll um, yeah, shell out and um, then you lose them. So anyway, we can only do what we can do though. So uh, that's our rough plan. Well, we're basically not far off finishing all that we can do um, here. I think the other stuff's just too wet. So I'm going to throw the drain up last time for the day and uh, yeah we'll just see what happens after that we'll be getting ready probably to head down to the development block but um, yeah that'll probably happen tomorrow so we'll just see what happens
Well, good morning everybody, and um, yes, a bit of a cold change come through with all that wind. It's not that cold, I just, I don't have a light jacket, I've only got this heavy one, so. Um, we are coming towards the end of the video, but I didn't take any footage last night of us, um, yeah, we cleaned up, blew down all the headers, and got them all hooked up onto the um, header fronts, and yeah, they're all ready to go. We're heading down to the development block to get um, started into the canola. So... Um, yeah, we're going to have a bit of a convoy going on, um, but yeah, that'll be that'll be enough for this video. So we will leave all of that for the next one. So make sure you tune in for that. Um, if you do enjoy these videos, guys, um, just hit the thumbs up button if you do. Um, it just really helps support the channel. And subscribe if you haven't already. And we will catch you in the next one. Yeah.